everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be having my very own at home disney date night I absolutely love Disney. I have seen the majority of Disney films. They are some of my absolute favorites. Going on holiday to Disneyland and Disney World is honestly one of my favorite things ever, like ever, ever, ever. As I love Disney a lot, I also tend to watch a lot of Disney vlogs and Jade Billington and her husband Matt make the most amazing Disney vlogs. And recently they did their very own Disney themed date night in quarantine and I just wanna do it. Like it looks so much fun. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be putting on some Disney ears. I'm gonna be cooking some Disney food and I am gonna be having a Disney themed date night to myself. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please have a huge thumbs up. And other than that, get started step one is choosing what themed disney is i am going to wear whilst i'm cooking so i've got three different pairs here i have got these rose gold ones with a pink bow i have got this white little unicorn pair and it's got a purple bow and then some flowers in the middle and then i've also got this blue aladdin themed pair every time i go to disney i do have a little bit of a habit of buying a new pair of ears and i do also have some other flower ears i ordered from ebay when i first went to disneyland florida in 2016 however those are buried deep in my memory box so tonight we're going to be going for one of these i feel like i want to go for these ones because these ones are my favorite ears are on i am in the kitchen and the first thing i am going to be making is ratatouille what foods from Disney films that I should make and the top tweet was making the ratatouille from ratatouille so I googled a recipe and I'm not gonna lie I found about seven different ones there are so many different ways you can cook this I'm just following one for I think it was BBC good food I'm not too sure but it seemed pretty simple to me it's just a load of like chopping up vegetables and then cooking it I'm so excited because I personally have never tried this dish before or a dish even like this here is my eggplant like I said I've never actually cut one of these before I've never even tried one of these before i'm just gonna cut it in half like this and then just chop it in thin slices first ingredient all chopped up next we are going to need tomatoes and again i just need to cut these into circles so i feel like i'm going to need to do three or four of these Next ingredient is done. Next, we are gonna go for some parsnips. I've just given them a wash. You can peel them if you want to, but the recipe that I'm following, it doesn't actually peel them. Finally, we are gonna cut up some cucumber. Again, you don't actually have to use the same ingredients as me. You can use any four ingredients that you want. I just really like these items. I mean, I've never tried this, but I wanna try it. Here are all the main ingredients that I've cut up into circles and now I need to get another chopping board and chop up a load of other vegetables. The next one we are obviously gonna cut up is some onion. You're joking, not another one? I have to have onion in everything. So I will probably use more onion than you are meant to, but obviously just use the amount that you wanna use. And then I've also got a red pepper and a yellow pepper and I am just gonna use a little bit of each. Here is all of my veg cut up and ready. This is the part I've been most excited for. Like, like, just wait for this. This is why I've had to cut it all up in circles. Okay, here we go. We need a little bit of oil in the pan. And then I'm just gonna pop in all of my vegetables. Then you need a can of chopped tomatoes, which I've got here. And pour this in with the veg. Come and give it a little mix around so we can heat it all up and cook it all together. It should look something like this. It's actually so, so simple to do. And I'm just gonna let this simmer just for a couple of minutes, just so it's all heated up all the way through. This is the bit I'm most excited for. So you get your sauce and put it at the bottom of the pan. I mean, I feel like I should have made a bit more. I kind of underestimated the size of this pan. And then you basically have to get all of these different vegetables and line them all up in like circles. I feel like I should have cut these in half. So now just enjoy this time lapse of me going around putting all of these vegetables in this tin.
I am sorry, everything may not be cut up perfectly and there's definitely a lot more eggplant and tomato in here than planned, but I am so, so proud of that. Here it is, I'm sorry, I'm actually not gonna stop curling about this. I just, I love it. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It smells amazing and to be honest, I know it's such a simple recipe, but I just find it really hard to follow recipes and actually get it somewhat semi-right. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for one hour. I will leave the recipe down below as well, but for the last 20 minutes in the oven, make sure you cover it in tin foil and then we can get it out and we can eat it. While the ratatouille is cooking in the oven, the next thing I'm actually gonna make is from Princess and the Frog and I'm gonna make Tiana's beignets. So apparently you can have these for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or dessert. I am gonna have these for dessert. They look a bit like bread rolly type things. I know a lot of people were saying I need to make these. So I'm gonna make them. First of all, you wanna add all of your powder ingredients. So I'm just gonna add some plain flour. You then wanna add a spoon of granulated sugar. You then need to add some baking powder and baking soda. So I thought it would just be easier to buy the little bags. And then just tip that in here. And then you also need baking soda, but you don't need as much of this. You just need a little bit like that. And then you wanna add some salt and then give that a mix all together. You can actually add cinnamon or nutmeg to these as well, but I just don't really know if I'm gonna like that. So I just wanna stick to the basics and have honey on them. Next, you need to add your milk. And then you also wanna add a little bit of vanilla extract. You wanna add your egg and then mix all of this together to create a dough. Then you wanna grab your dough and put it onto the worktop and then you actually need to cut out some squares. So you can kind of make as many of these as you want. I think I am gonna try and make four small ones um, and then just try and make them as perfect squares as you possibly can. It then says you need to fry them in oil. Now I have no idea how this is gonna go because I've never fried or like deep fat fried something before nope nothing happened yet that was probably the biggest anti-climax of the video yet but it would be because I haven't let it heat up enough yet it is now working so I'm gonna pop the other one in as well and hopefully it should only take about four or five minutes it is out of the oven. I've got two plates here because I'm actually going to serve mum up a plate. I've got these little silver things, which I'm basically going to pop here and then I can like pile all of the vegetables up just so it looks nice. And I've got a little bit of mashed potato to have on the side as well. I'm just really impressed with myself. I actually managed to do this and it looks amazing as well. So I am gonna get the dessert out ready and I'm gonna set up my little dinner. I'm about to eat. I've got my beignets here and I've also got some golden syrup to have with them. I've got a little can of Coke and then don't ask why. I just have a really odd obsession at the moment with pickled onions and I've been having them a lot with every single meal. So I tend to just bring the jar over and have them. Now I've served it up all nice. So I can kind of like collapse it. That's so good. Not to toot my own horn here, but I'm massively impressed with myself. Next, we're going to try these desserts. So it's said to have them with either powdered sugar, honey, Nutella, or syrup. Syrup was the easiest thing I had in the cupboard, so I'm going to try it with syrup. It's so good, but it tastes so similar to something that I've had before, but I don't know what. It's like a mixture of bread, pancake, waffle all mixed together a few moments later i changed into a jumper i've put my hair up and i am about to go to the shop because i just had a little bit of an idea where i actually want to make some alice in wonderland cookies whilst i'm in bed tonight the ones that say like eat me and drink me so i'm gonna buy some cookies i'm gonna buy some icing and it's just something to do isn't it also the inner child and anastasia moshi in me is like dying for a sticker book right now i'd love to sit with atticus and open some stickers and put them in a book so i'm hoping they have some sort of disney one i I mean i'm saying like it's for atticus i'm using that as an excuse like it low-key is for me but we'll say it's for atticus tesco really pulled through i got some brownies and some icing to decorate them with and i managed to find the frozen two stickers so uh, they're for me but they're for atticus but they're also for me so we're gonna sit and do those when we get in i'm home and i have just asked on my instagram story what do you guys want me to watch because i thought it'd be fun to get you guys involved so the first story i put up says 
do I go for Disney or Pixar? It's been up about 20 minutes and 85% of people said Disney and that was 19,073 people. The next one I put up says, do I watch a Disney Channel original or a princess film? And 55% of people said a Disney Channel original, which was 12,895. And the final story I put up says, finally, do I watch High School Musical or Camp Rock? Because those two are like classic Disney Channel originals. And 74% of people went for High School Musical, which was 18,640. So after those three stories, I am gonna be watching High School Musical tonight, which I am very excited about. It has been a long time since I've watched them. I don't know whether to watch one, two or three because number two is hands down my favorite, but then I felt like I should go in order if I'm gonna watch them. Let me know down below what High School Musical film is your favorite. Like I said, mine is definitely number two. Hello vlog. I have got a surprise for you. Oh, let me close my eyes. I just went to Tesco. Oh. I did, I did not expect that. Anna. I got your frozen sticker book, but I want to do it together because I really want to do it as well. Got loads of stickers. What? Should we open four each? Yeah. Okay, really? let's open our first pack. Do you not want to intro it? Hi everyone, welcome back to my toy channel. <laughs> I've got a rare one at the front. Me too, I've got a um, shiny one. What? Look. Oh, you've got a holographic one. <gasps> I've got two. I've got a glittery one as well. Oh, and another glittery one. <gasps> Look at those! Oh my god, that's such good value. Oh, I got another holographic one. You got the Disney castle! <gasps> <laughs> We're lucky. We are so lucky. We are so lucky. Right, let's open the next one. Where's my pack? Oh my god, foil Elsa! I'm getting into this way too much. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. Got some of the castle. <gasps> They're such good quality. <gasps> Olaf! Oh my god. Look! one. Oh my god. You've got glittery Olaf. Oh my god. We have got all these stickers and um, we have got the frozen Anna, book. Yeah. I think we should scratch one of these each. Yeah, we'll scratch the one each. That's fair. And then we're going to stick them in and I can show you guys. The Anna. Book. My sticker book is well underway. And now for the rest of my date night alone, I am going to be watching a high school musical on Disney Plus whilst making my Alice and Wonderland brownies. So I'm going to get high school musical up ready. I've also decided on high school musical one because I can't remember it as well as I can remember number two. I bought some white icing, I bought pink icing, and I bought some chocolate icing. So first of all, we are gonna go for the pink icing. Honestly, after buying that sticker book, my inner child is literally complete. And now all I need to do is decorate these brownies. And I just feel like I'm reliving my childhood. Decorating little bits like this reminds me of like food tech. I literally just feel like I'm back at food tech. None of these nozzles are small enough for me to write like eat me or drink me. I might be able to get eat on this brownie if we're lucky. It is so hard to squeeze out, but I managed to get eat on this brownie. And to be honest, instead of decorating them, I really just want to eat them. Yes, please. That is the end of my Disney date night. Let me know if you guys actually recreate this and what foods I should make next if I do another one. I know it's so stupid, but I just can't believe I've never thought of like recreating Disney foods before. I love you all so much. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.